Education Committee is looking into what's causing schools to hire more teachers without proper credentials. The most recent numbers shared by the Texas Education Agency from last school year show more than 16,000 new hires had no Texas certification or permit. The state reported that made up almost a third of last year's new hires. Research from the University of Texas shows those faculty members are less likely to stick with teaching long term. It's like a leaking bucket pouring water out of it. You can't pour new water in it fast enough. We can't make teachers fast enough to deal with that exodus until we respond differently to how we support new teachers when they enter this most a critical profession. Democrats repeated their calls for increasing teacher pay as a start. It's important that people feel like they are treated like professionals and they're paid like professionals. State Representative Gina Hinojosa says the state should use some of its $32 billion surplus to raise pay. We absolutely have the money. It is money that we have collected for our schools from property taxpayers to pay teachers, which is the most important investment we can make in a child's education. While some Republicans suggest the path forward might be to make licensing easier. From my side, I, I want to minimize the hurdles of getting good teachers in the classroom, but I'm not saying absolutely no standard. Nobody on my side is saying no standards. The search for solutions today included calls for improved mentorship opportunities and incentivizing high quality certification programs, ideas that could shape legislation when lawmakers return to the Capitol next year. In Austin, I'm Will Dupree. All right, well, it looks like Danielle's inviting us over to her side of the town again, this time for an eloquent banquet. Oh, are you ready? Do you have your bet? Wait, you, you could dress elegantly every day. You think so? I was going to say, do you have an elegant outfit ready? But um, every day you... I can dust something off. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Do you like seafood? That I do. Okay, well, you already got the outfit covered. You already got the seafood loving covered. Uh, and do you like fun for a good cause? Sounds great. Okay, well, Absolutely. you're going to love this, Jeremiah. Okay. This is the 2023 Lower Laguna Madre Chapter Annual Banquet. It is going down in Port Isabel. I am pumped about it. The entire event is being hosted by the Coastal Conservation Association of Texas, and it is the 14th annual version of the event. Attendees are going to be able to join in on a delicious dinner, great tasting beverages, different auctions, various prizes and giveaways, and pretty much everything that goes with good old fundraising fun. There will be individual ticket sale options opportunities as well as platinum sponsorships available just to offer you know a variety of methods in which we can lend our support for the cause. It all sounds like a blast, honestly. The organization, of course, works year round as a nonprofit group and spans over the Gulf of Mexico, the Atlantic seaboard, and the Pacific Northwest. I mean, they work tire tirelessly to aid in conservation and restoration of our local coastal marine resources. And our participation in this event, well, it's going to go a long way in assistance of their efforts, okay? They have different reefing projects, fisher, um, fishery missions in general. Um, marine graduate sponsorships, and they even offer volunteer beach cleanups and so much more. Again, lots to support when we attend. So it's all happening Thursday, August the 24th at 6 p.m. over at the Port Isabel Event and Cultural Center. It's a save the date. We hope to see you out there. You can grab more info by visiting ccatexas.org. Guys, this is so cool because not only does it uh, lend in education of our local coastal marine life, mm -hmm. but you have a chance to ha like get dressed up and then and then help them with their mission, like like the beach cleanups. Come mm -hmm. on, oh yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, that's and keeping amazing. our area beautiful, mm -hmm. and you know all the things that wash up on the beach, and yeah. some things that people leave behind. This is definitely going to be for a good cause. Yes, I'm oh, at yeah. the island all the time, so yeah, might oh, yeah. as well go to this. Mm -hmm. You guys gotta go. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, it is a very good cause, especially for specific events that cause a lot of activity oh, yeah. out in South Padre Island, like spring break, summertime. I feel like there's always an influx of trash and debris out there so it's mm -hmm. really really great that they are helping out yeah in the springtime oh spring exactly break, yeah yeah that'll do it for them so yeah it's gonna be very cool awesome dress up look <laughs> elegant have some seafood mm -hmm. oysters shrimp <laughs> oh mahi mahi crab lobster Ooh. tail lobster tails mm -hmm. fish, fish. Ooh, and maybe win a raffle or two and oh. win a raffle <laughs> there you go <laughs> sounds fun yeah danielle thank you so much <laughs> And before we head to break, here is a look and a reminder that we are 
partnering up with Mott's Building Materials for another giveaway. All you have to do is register at valleycentral.com to win. You have until August 30th, and we will announce one lucky winner on that day as well. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after the break. We are Texas A&M University Kingsville, a South Texas